All right, Mr. Luce, Engineering Essentials. Uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about that class, what you cover, what, what it is. So Engineering Essentials uh, gives students a background of what engineering might look like, the engineering field. Um, we cover a, a wide variety of topics. Uh, most of them are project-based, so they're actually creating something, mm -hmm. applying some of the knowledge they've learned, some of the engineering knowledge they've learned. Um, we go uh, cover projects or cover uh, topics ranging from electrical engineering, um, you know, circuitry and how to, how to code, um, to CAD, you know, kids working on, on a computer-aided design uh, program, creating things that they will eventually have the opportunity to 3D print. Um, we cover a lot of uh, topics in the, in the realm of mechanical engineering, how gears work, mm -hmm. Um, how stresses and strains affect the world we live in. Uh, that's just a few of the topics that we cover. Now, as far as obviously, it's, if someone's interested in a career in engineering, they would want to be in that class. Is there any, what other uh, careers would you see kind of molding well with this? Actually, I think the class is designed not only for those who, who aspire to go into a four-year college-based engineering curriculum, but also those that you know, may want to go into the skilled trades, applying, um, you know, their mechanics or their hands-on ability uh, to work as an electrician or a, a plumber. I mean, some of the things, the concepts we learn in there could be very useful in those types of fields. Um, you know, machinist, uh, CAD operators. I mean, if you want to uh, be employed by a company where you're designing things on a computer. You don't necessarily have to have a four-year engineering degree, mm -hmm. but this type of class would be very helpful in, in getting that student to the point where they feel comfortable entering that two-year degree. Okay, all right. And then as far as the student being in the class, you know, what are some of the prerequisites or what would, what would you like to see in a student that's in your class? Well, engineering as a whole re uh, requires a student to be very strong in science and math. And so I would like to see um, students that come into my class have a, a good background in at least algebra, uh, preferably algebra and enrolled in geometry would be helpful. Um, you know, physics is, a, is also a key class, um, but unfortunately a lot of our students don't take physics until their junior year. And I think a lot of students, a lot of younger students would be met missing out on the opportunity to take this class because by the time they get to be juniors and seniors, I think their class load is sort of dictated. There's not as much flexibility in their schedule. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. All right, well, there you go. Uh, engineering Essentials. I hope that was all right. That was more than all right. That was just amazing.